Yo, what up, Lead Gen Beast? Matty S here, Leads for Locals. Got a pretty cool video for you today. Going to be showing you how to use some really powerful voice drops in your Go High Level workflows to help you automate your outreach and your follow up, uh, generate more leads, more inbound phone calls. That's what voice drops are usually uh, really good at doing. So, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks, uh, some different strategies for using voice drops, uh, depending on it, really depends on how you want to run your business or your agency. You can do this for your business or your clients. So I'm uh, just going to walk through some basic strategies that uh, I've seen do really well. Uh, we're also going to cover some scripts. Uh, I'll have uh, some voice drop scripts for you guys in the description. Uh, it's just a Google Doc. Uh, you don't even have to. Um, I might make people opt in for it later. I don't know. Right now, you don't even have to opt in for it. It's yours. Use it as you please. My only ask, as usual, if you don't mind, please smash the like button. If you find the video helpful, make sure you subscribe. Please go through my affiliate link for Go High Level in the description. That is what really helps support the channel. You guys are awesome. Let's rock and roll. Uh, let's cover some basic strategies first, uh, and then there's some some uh, pretty some important things that you want to do before you start doing voice drops, because uh, uh, voice drops <laughs> could generate a lot of volume all at once, and uh, if you're not careful with it, so you want to make sure you set it up right. And uh, also, there's some basic things you want to do with your Twilio number as well, so that you know who's calling in. All right. So we'll cover that too. But let's, uh, let's go through some strategies. How do we use voice drops? And for those of you that aren't familiar with what uh, voice drops are, it's basically just a pre-recorded voicemail uh, that, so you, you pre-record it, you can do it on your phone, upload it to Google photos, download it on your laptop or your, your desktop computer. And then you uh, upload the MP, you download as an MP4 file and you can literally add it to your go high level workflows. And uh, when, you know, whatever your workflow trigger is, it'll actually, uh, it's not supposed to actually dial the number. So I've heard, you know, it's kind of like 50-50, man. Uh, I've heard some people say that it does call, uh, that it doesn't. Uh, when I, whenever I've done voice drops and go high level uh, and I've tested it on my phone, it doesn't. It basically just shows up as a missed call on the person's, uh, like if it's a mobile number. And then, uh, but then it, it leaves the voicemail. So it leaves a voicemail without actually calling the person, right? Uh, but because it has that missed call number on their phone, a lot of the times people will call it back, all right? So uh, that, that's why it can be really, really powerful when done correctly to generate inbound calls. All right, so a couple of different ways to do this. Again, this really depends on your business, guys. But uh, one of the things that I do with my funnels, all right, uh, in my agency and, you know, when I'm doing client work and stuff, is uh, so I have a very simple funnel that I use uh, opt in page, questionnaire page, and appointment page. So we're generating uh, a decent amount of appointments. I always recommend to my clients, uh, especially in the when they're in like professional services or high ticket services where they're closing deals over the phone, I don't really actually like to wait for the, the appointment day and time to contact these people, right? So, like if they book an appointment for three or four days out, do we really want to wait that long to contact them? Of course, you, you'll have your you know, uh, email and text follow up for mining them. That's great. And that works. But here's what I recommend. I recommend to my clients to actually call as soon as you get an appointment to confirm the appointment and then transition into the sales call. All right. So let's break that down really quick. Um, and actually, you know what, um, we're going to cover this in the, uh, in the scripts. Um, let's just knock out these different strategies, but basically the way you would use this for confirming appointments is anytime an appointment gets booked on a specific calendar or any calendar, uh, inside of go high level, it would trigger a voice drop to have the person call you back to confirm the appointment. Cause at the end of the day, we want, we, especially in high ticket, like more professional services, we want to get people on the phone. All right. So that's, that's one way. This is another great way to use voice drops guys right here, confirming the receipt of free lead magnets. This is awesome. So again, uh, the types of funnels that I use uh, with the opt-in page, we're giving away like free guides and plans and stuff like that. Right. And uh, <clears throat> again, these are these can be really great leads for like appointment setters to call and stuff. But you can send a voice drop to this person uh, to your to your new leads that are opting in for your free lead magnets, uh, confirming that they've received the lead magnet. Because uh, uh, and again, I came up with this concept. Well, I don't know that I came up with it, but I started exploring this option because a lot of the times when people are opting in to get the free lead magnets from my clients. A lot of the times you'll get a response. Oh, I never received the email or whatever. Right. So uh, confirming that people actually receive the free lead magnets. Of course, you got to get be getting phone number, which I always recommend name, email and phone number at the very minimum for your opt in for your uh, lead magnets. But calling them to make sure they received it 
could very easily transition into a sales call, a book, uh, a book strategy call with somebody else, uh, you know, that's going to close the deal, whatever, right? Again, it's all about getting people on the phone. Uh, next is database reactivation. This is a great way to add, uh, uh, to reactivate your list. So I typically do emails and text messages, but adding voice drops can be really good. Um, this is a little bit more advanced. I might do a separate tutorial on this. If you guys want to just drop a comment down below, I'll make it, but because uh, it's it's a little bit more advanced. But for your database reactivation campaigns, when you're doing the emails and or text messages or both, sometimes uh, obviously you're going to get landlines. So what you can do is if there is an error, like a, like because Twilio will show an error in the conversations tab, uh, like if it's if it's landline or it failed to go through or whatever, you can create a tag based on that event to segment out, uh, and realistically, you should do this before uploading the list anyways, but you can segment out all of the landlines. And then you can take that list, create like a smart list out of it, or, you know, just the tags, whatever. And which you can create a smart list from the tags, so you would tag it as a, a, a landline number. And then you could do a voice drop database reactivation campaign to the landlines, because obviously they didn't get your text message, right? But we still want to try and reach out to those people. So that's uh, that's something that something really cool that you can do inside of Go High Level as well. So it works really good for database reactivation. And then obviously long-term follow-up. This is great for, I, I actually have two different versions of this uh, for people that, you know, maybe request a free lead magnet, but never move forward. They never book a call. They never request more information beyond that. Um, or uh, if you just want to stay in touch with your current uh, client database as well. Voice drops can be a really great way to automatically stay in front of them. All right, so let's um, let's go. Th well, actually, before we go through the scripts for all of these, where you, you'll really see the strategy behind this, I want to cover a, a couple of important tips here. Right, you want to use generic introductions. So, hey there, like you never like don't worry about using somebody's name, obviously, because that's just not going to work. So, typically, um, you're just going to do something very basic, like. Hey there, how's it going? Um, hello. <clears throat> I usually just do hello. This is Matt from Leads for Locals as an example. All right. You want to make sure you speak clearly, guys. Uh, I'm not saying you have to be like, you know, a, a, a like a, a, you have to have a super powerful voice or anything like that. But just make sure you speak clearly that, that people can understand you. All right. Use a mic uh, um, on your like, like plug in a microphone like this snowball. All right. And then uh, like if you're going to do it from your laptop or your desktop, you can also do it from your phone, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, so when you record it on your phone, uh, like especially if you don't have a decent mic for your laptop or your computer, you can then upload it to Google Drive from your phone. And then you can down like you would go to Google Drive on your computer, download the file as an MP4 file. And now you can put it into your Go High Level Workflow, which I'll show you how to do here in a second. All right. So just make sure you're speaking clearly. Use custom values in the whisper message field and use drip mode. I'm going to show you this actually right now, but let's uh, let, let's just break break down drip mode really quick. Drip mode is is primarily if you're going to do a database reactivation campaign. So let's actually uh, let's open up Go High Level and I'll show you what I'm talking about with those two things, and then we're going to cover these scripts here. All right, so uh, hang on one second. Give me one second to pull this up. Okay, so for the whisper message, what you want to do is click on settings. And we're going to go to, um, actually, you know what, let me pull up a, a different account here. All right, here we go. I got it. All right, so uh, you're going to go to phone numbers, you're going to open up your phone number. So edit it right here where it says whisper message, you want to turn that on. And you're going to use custom values from uh, from go high level. All right. So it's going to be call from, and it's going to be bracket, bracket, contact dot name, bracket, bracket. So there's two on each side at contact company name. All right. Contact dot company underscore name. And basically what this is going to do is uh, when somebody, so if you do this voice drop and then somebody calls you back, obviously you want to know who's calling you. Uh, it's just kind of, it's an awkward transition. It's just an awkward thing to do. Like if you're like, oh yeah, who is this? Even though you just called them, right? And now you have to figure out who it is, what company they're with, blah, blah, blah. Um, that might not always be the case. Again, it depends on your business, but I do recommend at least having the name here so that you know exactly who's calling you. Okay. And then you can bring them up. You can, uh, you know, type in their phone number on, on go high level inside of contacts. You can pull up their contact profile, take notes, set tasks, et cetera while you're on the phone, all right? But you do want to have some type of whisper message with the name. Uh, and if you have the company name, uh, I, I do recommend that. 
and uh, it's going to tell you who it is after after you answer the 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 call when they call back your Twilio number. Uh, they're going to uh, you're going to hear a message. Hey, it it's this call from Matt at Leads for Locals, and then it's going to connect the call. All right, that's what you want to do. And then as far as drip mode goes. So that's really important, guys. You don't want to blast out a ton of voice drops. You are going to get absolutely swamped with calls. I highly recommend using drip mode for this. And what you can do is if we go to, uh, we'll do marketing here. Uh, we'll go to, e um, actually, no. So if we go to contacts, my apologies. This would be for, uh, I'm just going to select a couple. Uh, let, let's say you wanted to, to add a list to, you know, again, a database reactivation campaign using voice drops. Like you got a bunch of landlines and you want to do a voice drop to them. So you're, I, I would recommend creating a smart list for that. Uh, you know, go to filters, you would tag it and search by the tag, create the smart list at the bottom here, uh, et cetera, et cetera. You know, you just want to stay organized. All right. But um, assume, you know, once you have that uh, organized, then what we want to do is uh, we're going to add to campaign and workflow. Okay to proceed. All right, you're going to find that workflow and then add in drip mode right here. All right, this way, like, you know, if you have a list of, I don't know, you know, 5,000 people, you're not doing 5,000 voice drops at once, right? You, you can control how many go out at any given time. So, you know, we do voice drop here for the action, you know, put your start dates. Okay. Uh, batch quantity right here. This is where you control it. So maybe you do... I don't know, 20 an hour, 50 an hour. It really just depends on, you know, how big is your team? How busy do you want to be, et cetera? You know, the size of your list, things like that. And then you can change this to however you want. Maybe do 50 a day. I don't know. All right. Uh, that part's totally up to you. And then uh, do make sure you put your start from and end at time because you don't want to be doing this at, you know, three o'clock in the morning by accident. Okay. So make sure that you keep the time zones in consideration. I usually do like 11 to 5. 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. usually keeps you pretty safe. And that's when you would add to your campaign and workflow and do the voice drop. Cool. All right. Uh, so let's get into the actual scripts here. And we'll see a little bit more of how this, uh, we'll just dive into a little bit more about how the strategy actually works. So appointment confirmation, this is pretty, um, all, all of these are actually pretty basic because all we're trying to do is get the call back. That, that's, that's what we're trying to do here. Appointment confirmation. Hey, this is Matt from Leads for Locals calling about the appointment you booked with us. And, and notice that I don't say a specific date and time here. I'm just like this would get sent out as soon as appointment uh, an appointment gets booked. Just wanted to confirm the day and time you selected so I can uh, confirm it on our calendar. Give you a call back. My number is you would put your Twilio number there. All right. And uh, let's see. Uh, let me show you how to actually uh, put that into your appointments automations here. So if we go to automations. Adding voice drops is really, really easy, guys. Of course, uh, a lot of things inside of Go High Level is pretty easy. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Let me find an appointment uh, automation here. Here we go. So uh, I use uh, appointment. So actually, I think they, they just changed the name on it anyways. Yeah, appointment status is usually what I do. It runs on all appointment status updates. Uh, you can also do it if they book themselves. Um, that actually might be better for voice drops because, again, uh, if you book the appointment and there's really no point in you sending a voice drop to confirm it, you just book the appointment yourself. So maybe a customer booked appointment might be better. Again, just depends on your business. I'm just showing this as an example. Appointment status is confirmed. Uh, also, you choose the, uh, the calendar that you want as well. And then literally all you do is click the plus sign. You know, put put all your other stuff, add tag, create opportunity, you know, move them to your appointment stage in your pipeline, do all that stuff, internal notifications. But uh, right here, you're going to click voicemail. And all you're going to do is upload the file that we were talking about earlier, right? So if you record it on your phone, upload it to Google Drive, download it as an MP4 on your computer, click upload file, find it on your computer, double click it. You're going to save action, save at the top right, make sure it's published. That's it. That's literally all you have to do to add the voice drop. Okay, guys, it's really, really simple. Now, uh, let's talk about the free lead magnet one. And again, guys, you can get these this script down in the description if you want. <clears throat> uh, hey, this is Matt, Leads for Locals. Saw you requested my you know free lead gener uh, business loan lead generation masterclass. Wanted to make sure you received it. Uh, give me a call back when you have a minute. My number is Twilio number. That's it. 
Because again, guys, uh, when people are like, when people opt in to get your free lead magnets, they're requesting information from you. Now, they might not be ready for the next part of your funnel. They might not be ready to book an appointment or whatever, but you're, it's just that initial touch, right? Uh, that initial touch point that you're getting with your leads. And the more exposure they have to you, your brand, the more conversations that you have with them, the more likely they are to convert into a customer or client at some point in the future. You might even close them on that first call. It just depends, right? Uh, you never know until you get them on the phone. So whenever somebody gets your free lead magnet, you would add it the same exact way as I just showed you to your appointment uh, confirmation and reminder workflow. Database reactivation. Hey, this is Matt Leads for Locals. I sent you an email earlier today. I wanted to make sure you received it. And uh, we're offering free, I'm offering a free uh, business loan lead generation masterclass that teaches you some really cool strategies about generating uh, your own exclusive business loan leads. Uh, if you want to request the you know, free access to it, you know, you can give me a call back at this number or just click the link in the email uh, that I sent you earlier. So this is a good way to follow up, make sure people are opening your emails uh, or again, potentially getting callbacks. So this is just one example of database reactivation here with voice drops. It depends on your business, right? Uh, you know, customize this to your business, obviously, but uh, this can work really well. Long-term follow-up. So there, again, like I mentioned earlier, there's two different versions to this that I kind of came up with. Hey, it's Matt, Leads for Locals. It's been a while since we last spoke and did business. Just want to check in, see how things are going, uh, see if we can do business again, something like that. These are th This would be just like a really basic voice drop for your current clients and customers. So you could have like a, a long-term follow-up that waits, you know, four months or something, three months, two months, however long you want to, to go by. And then, you know, you follow up with your, your clients, but uh, it'll, it'll send that voice drop just following up with them automatically. Uh, Cause I know a lot of people, man, Getting people to uh, stay in touch with their leads can be a little tough sometimes. So uh, doing it, doing what you can automatically, sending the emails, text messages, but also voice drop to try and get a call back. It's a really good way to do it. The other version would be uh, not your clients or customers, but let, let's say maybe somebody requested your free lead magnet and they haven't booked a strategy call. They haven't purchased anything. This could be a good way to, again, long-term follow-up just to, to try and get them on the phone. Matt, hey, Matt, it's leads for locals. Uh, let's see, you requested our, my free business loan lead generation masterclass a little while back. Just want to touch base, see how I was able to help you. Also want to see if you had a chance to check out the free demo of elite broker as well. It's our marketing CRM for the lending industry. Uh, just want to see if you were able to check that out. Uh, give me a call either way and uh, we'll go from there. My number is blah, blah, blah. Right. Another version of that would be, uh, just, uh, saw you requested the free lead magnet. Wanted to also make sure to see if you had a, or see if you had a chance to book your free strategy call. Request your free custom plan. Uh, request your discount code. Whatever. Insert whatever lead magnets you're using there. All right. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. You know, it, uh, voice drops pretty simple. You just got to get them into your workflows. You do it one time, and then it, it just it continues to work for you over and over and over again. So just a really great way to get you know potentially get people on the phone, have some more conversations with people, uh, automate your your long term follow up a little bit more. And uh, it's just another another way of reaching out to your prospects. So let me know what you guys think. Drop some comments down below. Do you think the? I mean, pretty cool stuff. And also, how do you uh, how do you guys use voice drops? Let me know. Let me know what's been working for you. I'm always open to that. That uh, learning some new strategies. So, anyways, guys, appreciate your time. Hope you're crushing it. Maddie Ice is out. Talk to you in the next one.